The president's diagnosis is prompting reaction from Mississippi's members of Congress. 12 News uh, senior political uh, correspondent Gerald Harris joins us in studio now uh, to tell us how this may impact the office of the presidency. Gerald, what did you find out? Yeah, what we have learned during this pandemic is that no matter socioeconomic status, age or race, COVID-19 does not discriminate. And now the leader of the free world is experiencing the results of the novel coronavirus. Arguably the most, the world's most protected figure, he has COVID-19, the virus that has claimed over 200,000 lives in the U.S., including nearly 3,000 deaths here in Mississippi. Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith says she knows the president will still be able to fulfill his duties. We all know the energy level of this president and uh, how, you know, how he has had the stamina that he has had has been incredible, but there will not be anything undone. And again, reaction to President Trump's condition has been swift. Again, Representative Benny Thompson tweeting out in part praying for President Trump and his wife, adding that this pandemic is not a hoax hashtag, wear a mask. Now, Representative Michael Guest also tweeted in part, our first family, like our nation, is strong, and I will continue to pray for a speedy recovery. And more reaction coming in from Senator Roger Wicker. He's responding to the news saying, tweeting, Gail and I are praying for the president and the first lady. We hope they continue to feel well and recover quickly. And Mike Espy, who was running against Senator Cindy High Smith, also tweeted, he said, wishing them a quick recovery. And Jada, I have to also mention that Governor Tate Reeves had a test after being at the White House earlier this week. His test came back negative.